Good kitten internet. It's been a bit. Also, all your internet all belong are belong to us. All right, so it's been around a week since I last recorded any of these. Uh, let's go ahead and head back into the Arathian sewers. So the reason why I wanted to come to the sewers is that there's two quests in here, not one. I remembered after I stopped recording last time that this is where uh, that would be the signet ring is located. I actually have my quest list up effectively there from your perspective, but there from where you're seeing my eyes go, um, for all the quests that I'm going to be doing in the game so I can cross them off. We have completed nine quests in the game, by the way, but seven of, seven of them were on Emerald Isle, so eh, we haven't really done a whole bunch. Um, then there are 50... how many was there? Was it 57 quests in the game that we will be able to complete. Also, I messed up another quest earlier, but that's okay. Let's go in then. Alright, so these are the Arathian sewers. I want to say we need to jump onto those platforms, but I can't remember anymore. Nope, I need to actually cast the jump spell jump to jump onto them. That's what it was. Right, what are you? You're a Warhammer. Sweet. <clears throat> so, um, let's go ahead and go through here. There's a few types of enemies in here, most notably mice and thieves. I really like the look of thieves in Might Magic 7. around. Right, let's go ahead and loop these. So, how are people doing? So, uh, at the time that I'm recording this, I believe this is episode... Yeah, this is episode six. Um, at the time I'm recording this, episode two went live yesterday. Am I still missing boots on people. Yes, I am. There's no room for that. How about on your feet? I, oh, won't stop. Oh, I still don't have good enough trap disarm. <sighs> this is why I normally don't bother with trap disarm. I'm gonna get hit by everything anyway. Oops. More gems. Hmm. Chief Helm. There's no room for that. Hmm. Conscript's Helm hmm. is a slightly better helm. Hmm. And kind of useless weaponry. Okay. You can There's upgrade no helms, and I actually do have helms on everybody. Okay. Oops. Good to know. So let's see. Um, so the there's multiple exits to the Arathian sewers, so for instance, if I were to exit out of here, you'll end up finding me basically by the docks. This is the normal way that you can enter, for reference. Oops. Go through here. I believe this is the route that takes you to one of the quests directly. So, the uh -oh. thieves are, in fact, fighting the giant rats, but... I need to move up slightly. So, if I remember right, this middle part is actually trapped. So, I'm going to jump over. Like as soon as getting into something. Now you can actually see the graphical differences. Uh -oh. So there's a regular thief, uh -oh. and there's a rogue. You remember thieves and rogues from Magic Six if you watched that video. Those videos. Ow. Uh, 
Wait, right, okay. I keep hearing stuff in the background. I don't know what that's about. So what we're basically waiting on is all the thieve actions going that we can't see. You can actually sort of hear them. I have the audio really quiet on my side, so I don't know if you can hear it well or not. Oh, that's about all I can get. Okay. So, there are three doorways over here, but if you take a look at the mini-map, you can tell that this is the correct door. This is the only one that's a door. This will be a room that we will use later, but I want to get rid of the rats first. Rats. The hardest enemy in Might Magic 8. No, really. For certain classes, they really are the hardest enemy. Alright, let's walk back here. I believe these two are teleporters? No? Was this one a teleporter? No, okay. Let's go back. Hmm. Ooh, got through somehow by kind of falling through the floor. This, this game has some problems with clipping. Anyway, this is the easy way to get down here and actually fight these thieves. here. I'm not even that high level, so I really don't know why. Ah, there's the teleporter. Okay, good to know. I'm just going to fall down here. And hmm. loot. Loot. Crappy loot. I'm betting that thief actually got hit by rats, and that's why he's running away. Alright, let's go back through here. That's the teleporter back up, which will be useful later, but not right now. There's a lot of thieves in here. Killed it. This won't stop me. Do, 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 do. Oh, that one's gonna get away. Nope. Never mind. Oh. Well, yeah, that one is getting away. Huh, I thought that would have actually killed him. Oh well. Must not quite have done enough damage. Here's another exit to the sewers. I can't remember where this one leads. Let's get up. Let's take a look. Uh, the other side of Raytheia. So there's one exit, there's another exit. This is the entrance I went in. Good to know. That's up high, right? Yeah. We'll go back there, don't worry. So, um... I had things to talk about and I've already forgotten them. I'm doing great, let me tell you. I'm actually not doing that well, physically or mentally this week, so... Eh, you know, as things go. Alright, now you see on the mini-map that there's something over here. Looks like a really itty-bitty little slot. Well, guess what? That's a trap. Because when I open it... And hit that. This opens up. I'm going to hit along the sides because I don't want to get hit by a trap. But basically, that trap will start firing off the spell blades at your face. Making very loud noises, just like the noises in Might Magic 6. Alright, this is one of the sides. So, what we have to do for this room is to somehow get over to here, basically. And there's multiple ways of doing this. Um, the easy way, which is the way I normally do, is cast the jump spell from here and just land there. Um, not going to be doing that in this case. I'm going to actually try to solve things. So, I did not look this up ahead of time. Oh, it's a sliding block puzzle, basically. Okay, that moves those two. I did not mean to fall. Good job, me. And Wizard Eye just stopped. Okay, let's head back around. Again. 
And I'm gonna verify that there really is a spell in here. Yep. Poison spray. That's what I thought it was. Hence why I jump over the middle, because it's a pressure plate based thing. And if I had higher perception, it would actually be glowing red, but I don't. Which is unfortunate. I really should have gotten better perception. I'm even in condition green. This is a fairly large dungeon with not a whole bunch in it. Okay, so that moved that block over. Three moves the middle thing over. <coughs> so, I think that is the correct alignment for this side. I need to go around to the other side to align the rest of the path. There's the blade spell. It was triggered on that side. As I lean over. <sighs> Old habits die hard and all that. Okay. Really don't understand why there's just a crushed rose petal in the middle of the room. Wondering if it's supposed to like lure people over to go, oh hey look, there's loot in this room. I better go here. Yeah, another club. It's not worth picking up because I have all the clubs required. Hmm. Simple leather cloak. Everybody have cloaks? Yeah. Okay. And this is the way back in where we came from. I want to say that there's a teleporter in one of these. I can't reach without the jump spell. Okay. Well, let's continue on. We've almost gone through all the doors at this point. I believe this is the last door. We've got ourselves another blades trap. You can see the little slot there. It's a similar style room than the previous one. We haven't gone down here, down below on this section though. Door, enter turn base mode, fight things. That was too easy. Go over here, and this is the other door area with money. Okay, so this one moves that down and swaps that one back up. This won't stop me. Oh. I got hit by something. I'm not sure what. Okay. Do I come out here too? I have arrowy death for you. Thank you. Okay. I could probably just jump down from here. That's what I'm gonna do. See? It's not too hard. And this is where we wanna be. Still chain mail of celibate. Money. Letter from Mr. Stanley. You remember Mr. Stanley from the beginning of the game? My dear Mr. Melwick, I have not heard from you in some time. I hope this letter finds you well. You're supposed to send regular messages to us, so it would be up to date on your recruitment drive. It's important that you find the right people. Markham must be handled correctly. Then Harmondale will be ours. Once you have completed this, I'm sure you can make arrangements to bring you home and have your debt cleared. Niles. Don't worry, we'll meet Niles later. Alright. Blue. Red. Red. Blue. Red. Red. We might have some use here. One spring cloak is better than that. And yes, I know there's treasure chests in here. Yellow, red, purple. Yellow, red. Money. Uh, who needs speed at this point? 17, 30, 9, 9. Oops. Money, 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 money. Piranha root. This is worthless. Hmm. Why am I putting that in his inventory? I don't know. Anyway, this is one of the two quests. This is the Master Thief. 
I'm Bill Lasker, and I am the Master Thief. Bill takes a, makes a sweeping gesture with one arm, taking the whole of the sewers. I am the undisputed ruler of all that I survey. Survey? Survey? Hmm. Survey, and I hear of everything that happens in my mighty kingdom. I am at your service. So you'll notice he has a lot of things here. So he is two different expert trainers, Grandmaster Dagger, and he's the promotion for two different promotion quests. So, Rogue. Though the law may decide who is guilty and who is not, I decide who is called Thief and who is just a criminal. Bring, bring me that lovely vase I, on the mantle in Lord Markham's manor, and I shall call you Rogue. This is actually the hardest promotion quest in the game. Uh, well, first promotion quest. Second promotion, um, the ninth one on the side that we're going through is actually harder. Anyway, there was a couple of things that we missed, so I'm going to go through that. Especially since I didn't see the signet ring here. I don't know where I missed that at. Okay, there's nothing on that side. That's where I came from. This is now up. Did I already go through this corner? I feel like I did. Also, I'm glad to see that the blinking's working now. Yeah, I already did, okay. So let's zoom in on through a little bit. So I'm in yellow. Oh, I see where the enemies are. Hi. Yeah, thieves are just not very powerful enemies. Money. Hi, thief. They run away really early on, I think. I think it might be in... No, this is where we started out. Yeah. Have we seriously finished this entire place? That doesn't sound right. I could have swore that the signet ring was in here too. Hold on a moment. Let me look this up because this does not sound right unless there's a second area that I'm completely misremembering. This is the problem with not remembering everything about this game. Uh, let's see. Do -do -do -do. Oh, different bandits. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> okay. So we finished the sewers. Actually, I would prefer to go into the other route. Now that I think about it. Do, 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 do. It's actually faster to travel through the sewers than it is to walk in the correct spot. Weird how that works. Oh, right, I forgot. I'm in the land of hills everywhere. So the area that you see the red dot on the minimap, that's actually where I need to go. Uh, is there a way up through here? I'm thinking no. Ha. What is that structure? I actually don't know what this is. Huh. Okay, there is a way around. Oop. No, there isn't, because that's the way to Bricadia Desert. Dang it. Uh, let's just climb this hill. And back to the land of dead trees. So where all these bandits are? Yeah, that's actually where everything is at. Let's go back over here where I've already cleared off a good chunk of the bandits. Fight this one lonely robber. Crappy catalysts. Uh, this might actually, no. It's one of these types of chests. 
we can fight at a range, that's not a big deal. In fact, I'm gonna zoom this through because this is going to be a whole bunch of waiting, most likely. Oh, that was easy. All right, that's about as much as I can see. So, basically, kill all the bandits. How are you doing? I'm annoyed because I'm waiting on shipment of a component for my creator. Their Christmas present was supposed to be what it was. Um, at this point, I'm going to make birthday. And I've ordered this a while ago, to put it mildly. It hasn't left yet. At all. You're like already in Brickade Desert, I bet. Yep. And I don't have telekinesis, so congrats. Your body goes unlooted. You are shocking cauldron, so you've got air resistance. Congratulations. Used to be called electric resistance, but it's called air resistance now. This is worthless. That's a crappy axe. This is worthless. Crappy steel broadsword. So there's a chest over here somewhere. Oh, I should cast torchlight. So people other than me can see. So there's a chest somewhere. It's at the base of a hill. Might even be on the opposite side. Ha there's a blue item. Oh, there it is. What a piece of junk. I agree. You're picking it up anyway. So it might actually be on the other side over in that mini town. Which is where I'm gonna go walk over now. Hop over the bridge. Yeah, there's a lot of places here. This is really hard to get to without fly. It's actually even somewhat difficult for the jump spell. We're not going to go there for a long time. That is like um, two thirds of the way through the game where you would start wanting to go over there. So this is Fort Riverstride. It has lots of murder holes. It's a defensive fortification. You, you'll come in here later on, or we'll come in here later on. It's a dungeon, sort of. It's about the best way I can describe it is sort of. Ow! Oh, I forgot. I don't have spells. Up. So that way is the day. Uh, Steadwick is the city that we were in, east of Harmondale. We want to go south. Because that's where we saw buildings. Do, 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 do. See, it's a little tiny town. You're a cute little town, aren't you? Someday you'll grow up to be a big town. It's disarmed. Oh, I can actually disarm traps. This that's amazing. Worthless. That's cell bait. I wouldn't really call that worthless. You're trying to climb a wall. I disarmed it. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to remember. These are the masters. Okay. So this is. Yep, repair item, grandmaster. Plate master. And. Just penny pretty. Okay. So let's go further down this way. To the obelisk. I have not been doing a very good job of getting the obelisks. Oh, so in case if somebody has noticed, uh, there is no obelisk in Emerald Island. What a scratch. Altar of luck. Not an obelisk. My mistake. I will take the plus luck. That's fine with me. So, um... North, I guess? Oh, I remember where the signet ring's at now. Okay, yes, it's north. Let's go ahead and start casting regen. I don't feel like healing everybody. So yeah, it's actually up there. This this zone's very strangely set up on city. This is kind of like the equivalent of Freehaven in this game, except that um, it's not centralized. It's about the best way I can describe it. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Try to center myself a little bit better. So this is the area that they're talking about. There's a little ambush area. You can see the red dots already. These are the bandit caves. Come on, let's go. Oh, definitely bandits to the right, so let's go to the right. 
See what I mean by a lot of these places look very similar to each other? I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, it looks like heroism fell. Ow. Drat. Heroism would have been really handy in here. Okay. Oh, wizard eye dropped. That does not help. Also, there's like weird textures to the wall that cause you to climb up. I'm kind of confused by how this works, but whatever. Remember, if you can see them, you can hit them with a melee attack. But yeah, this is just a very dense area that has thieves and bandits and... There's gotta be one other type of enemy in here. There's always three. Well, not always, always, but almost always. So that there's a lot of, like, hidey holes in here. And a lot of dead ends. It's really just the thing in the center. Yep. Just gonna go to the center, which has more robbers. I guess there really was only two types of enemies no in here. Problem. That's weird. It's supposed to be the smallest dungeon in the game. That's an actual dungeon and not just, like, a one-room thing. This is worthless. Yeah, it is. Ow. Of course. There's a the signet ring. That's Daffric's signet ring. Heal. Ow. Oof. Oops. Sorry about that. No room for that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. 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 Jump scroll. I'll take the jump scroll. And letter. Velatir. Our raids have been quite successful. Our position allows us to hit two routes, Arathia to Deia and Arathia to Harmondale. We've done as you've suggested and kept our activity infrequent enough to prevent direct intervention from Arathian forces. Also, our cave has been hidden enough where casual observation won't be enough to locate it. Your payment is being finalized now and will ship to be, be shipped to you soon. The Rat. Which is Spanish for The Rat. I'm sorry. Anyway. Heal yourself a bit. Heal your elven friend a bit. No, I don't want to fire you. So, to be honest, I probably shouldn't have picked up the merchant. I should really just look at the, um, whatchamacallit, options, and then choose. Raiders. I'm still not really getting hit by these guys. No I've been hit more by traps Crazy. than anything else for this video so far. Oh, that was easy. That's fairly typical. No problem. So yeah, the three enemies in the Arathian area are griffins, peasants, and robbers. That's the reason why the guards in Arathia look like robbers. Is oops, did not mean to cast sparks. Uh, it's so they can conserve their pallets. Not pallets, but models, I guess. Anyway, there's only three. Ow! Oh, I actually got hit. How dare I? Mm. I should be taking out. Huh. Go double speed for a bit. Ow! Too easy. Moiderize no these problem. people. Okay, now we're back in green. Let's go back up here. Finish looting the bodies. Because, of course. And there was a treasure chest over here. In the outdoors chests I appear to be able to open. Disarmed. Hmm. Regular broadsword. This is worthless. That's not actually worthless. Uh, my loot is so bad that they're constantly claiming this is worthless. That's that's great. That's special. As opposed to the last game where everything was awesome. And that included, like, clubs. You hmm. are a shark tooth dagger. Well, you're worth money. And I can use some. I only have 11,000, which... Well, for this point of the game is not too bad. I'm going to need a lot more money fast. Ugh. What a piece of junk. Yeah, I'll agree on that one. This is worthless. That's not worthless. That would be the second best helm I have. Mm. And that would be the best cloak that I have. And 
Where'd that helm go? There it is. Yeah. There you go. Now you have a conscript helm. Rings like a bell? No, oh, I think that was the other description of the other one. Hmm. Amulet of armor class. That is garbage, except that I have no amulets right now. Temporary accuracy. Okay. This is work, sorry. No room. Hmm. I'm actually starting to run out of space. Hmm. Berserk scroll. What a piece of junk. Paint scroll. Okay. And you were something. What were you? Oh, unarmed grandmaster. That's what it was. Okay. See? Say hi to Chuck. <sighs> Chuck Norris jokes. Hmm. Not a great weapon either. Okay, and that's pretty close to it for Arathia. There's a couple of small islands over here. Notice that there's enemy griffins. That's weird. Did I accidentally hit somebody? I didn't think I was supposed to have enemy griffins at this point. Um, I don't know if I can actually take this on. Yeah, you probably are. Heal thyself. Um, poison spray? Ah, I can only hit with one. Ow! More important to have a healer up. Yes! Okay, I can kill a griffin. Good to know. And I am going to loot that body. Cast Featherfall. Okay. And that goes up to Daya. Daya is a pretty craftacular place. Hmm. Wonder if it's just that one, or if I accidentally anchored the Griffins here. And if I did. Oh dear. Uh, my reputation's neutral. I don't think I angered them. Uh, let's go ahead and cast Water Walk so I don't have to worry about the water. And so I can check these islands. Uh, another Royal Griffin. I don't know what it Royal is. Griffin. And Royal Griffin. Well, I guess I'm going to be fighting some Griffins. Um, so there actually is a quest in the game to clear out all of the Griffins in Raythea. And that includes the guards, by the way. Yeah. It doesn't make people very happy. Ow! Sparks. I can hit him with three sparks at least. That's not too bad. And light happened. Ow! See the huge difference in speed going on. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna yes. die. I mean, you'll die someday, as will be all. But you know, not today. Unfortunately, my theater is sick, so I'm glancing every so often at the chat to make sure that they're okay. Um, I shouldn't be fighting over water. Let's run for a bit. Make sure I fight over land. That's better. Ow. That sounded like a spell effect. Not seeing any signs of one. out those griffins. Those are usually the ones that I forget about when I do the quest to kill all the griffins. It's because they're kind of just off in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Anyway. You notice that we haven't actually gotten tired? It's because we're uh, leveling up just often enough where it doesn't matter. 
Is heroism pedestal? No, that's the day of the gods pedestal, okay. Oh, wait, how long do I have on that left anyway? Nine hours. Well, now I have one day and 37 seconds. See, that's the reason why the guards are raiders here. It's weird. So, where are my options on travel? And have I grabbed all of the quests that I can in Arathia? The store is closed. Um, okay, you don't have very long. Let me take a look at the quests. So, we've got the two promotion quests. I know I picked that up. The Archimedes Tournament quest, I picked that up. Uh, sealed letter, stealing the vase. Parsons Quill. And the last one I can't do yet. I think we have all the quests here. I don't think there's any reason for us to continue being here. Okay. I didn't need to walk off the pier. I just want to see where I can go from here. Uh, nowhere. Lady Catherine does not wish to move. That is actually the only boat in the game that is in another game as well. It's also in Might Magic 8. Stables is over here. I did actually um, check Town Hall Bounty, right? Minotaur of the right. Stupid Minotaur. I can offload my loot, but if I'm going back to Castle Harmondale, there's not much of a reason for me to. Um, stables, nowhere. Is today Sunday? Yes, okay, that explains it. So, I think the best thing to do is to sell off stuff and level up. See anything you want? Let's sell useless armor. Let's Thanks a lot. Hmm. Um, everybody has shields. They're crappy shields, but everybody has them. Just move all the armor over, since that's where we're at right now. Mm, yep, that's it for armor. Might as well move this stuff as well. I don't really need berries. Crushed rose petals is probably about as much as I'm going to bother with. That is a worthless potion. That no is for that. out of room. A perfect mix. No, it isn't. Um, at some point, I will actually use real weapons, by the way. I'm just no being for that. a little stubborn. Um, Mercury's actually a good reagent. Let's get rid of some of the crap. Like, I would actually prefer... Wrong character. I would actually prefer to have one Mercury over two Obsidians. No room for that. Yeah, you should actually make room for that. Fade dust is such garbage. Um, oops. Right, where'd you go? There. Do, 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 do I have two more of these? Yes, I do. There. See anything you want? Sell. Armor, 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 armor. Armor, 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 armor. Oh, See yeah. anything you want? The important part. You have anything I actually want. Dragon hide gauntlets are nice, but they're unenchanted, and I don't have enchant item, so it's not useful to me right now. You notice I'm using far fewer spells than normal? It's because Might Magic 7 is actually more balanced toward might than magic at this point in the game. Hell, you penny -pinching miser. Well, I, Need a new uh, I have too much money, and they're yelling at me again. Alright. Sell these things. I'm almost at the point where I'm going to want to use daggers again. Almost. That's all the weapons. This is worthless. <laughs> Thanks. This is actually not that bad of a crossbow. Yeah, it's actually better than no room for that. her bow. So that's gonna get it sold. I don't even know why I bothered picking that up.
That's capable. That's not. There we go. Need a new weapon? So, sell, sell, sell. Those are all the weapons. What do you have for sale? Long dagger is utter garbage. They have utter. Gar They're actually selling a damn club. A demon slaying club. Ugh. I'm not gonna be fighting creaking Thanks. with a freaking club again. like that. That's leveling up. Uh, over on this side is where we have the magic item shop. Hi, how are you? And reagent shop. I know this isn't going to give me a huge amount of money or anything, but too many things. Do you have anything that I care about? Recharge item, nah. Hardened item is probably worth picking up at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up a hardened item. Because... Now it's hardened. Because of that. Can I help you with anything? Anything that I wanna buy here? Sadly, I'm actually thinking about picking that up. A raised dead scroll, which is no longer crappy. Hardened an item. I'm pretty sure we've got something else that would be useful for that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nothing there that's all that great. Nothing here looks all that great either. No, not really. Thanks. Let's harden our next item. Uh, let's see. Well, we can harden the plate mail. In fact, actually, I think that's probably the best idea. There we go. We'll be able to make hardened item, so that's can not I that big of a deal anything? in my mind. Why do I have one of those? Thank I shouldn't have bothered keeping it. Oh, well, anyway. Um, so we've got a decent amount of money now. Not much to do with it. We can go back to magic guilds, but I think we already did that with these three books. I think we should go level up. Uh, how am I doing on time? 42 minutes, yeah. Let's go level up. I think I can level up once or twice. Let's see. I can level up to level 10, or level 9. I'm currently level 7, so twice. So let's test my theory. Okay, so it's the Ides of Mar or no, it's Pi Day. Need some training? That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. And now, yep, two weeks, not one. Actually, a little bit over two weeks even. Um, so we've got thirteen skill points. Uh, just gonna skip her for now. Let's get to learning. We'll use horseshoes to get your fire magic up. I'm going to increase fire magic one more time also, but um, let's do spirit, I guess. Ugh. I should have actually looked to see where our spirit expert is. Let me do that. Where can I find Spirit Expert? Apparently Caps Lock is on once more. Skill List. Spirit. Spirit Magic. Expert. Harmondale. Talia. Is Mind Magic here? <laughs> Mind Magic. Harmondale Athlete. Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, heck am I going to do with my thief? I should probably start throwing things into dagger. The, what we call it, having a shield on him is temporary. He won't have a shield for too much longer. Basically, when I stop using the club, I will remove the shield. And I'm going to start throwing things into dagger now. Because might as well. I could also throw up to expert bow, but we'll go dagger. Fire magic, is that here? 
Uh, Pure Point Tidewater. Pure Point is Tellurian Forest, right? Okay. So no. It doesn't really matter if she has it or not. Okay. So let's see where we can go today. Traveling today. Harmondale. I mean, I do have some things I need to get done in Harmondale right now. But at this point, I'm actually looking to go toward the Barrow Downs. Is there even a stable to the Barrow Downs? I don't remember now. Welcome aboard. Oh, Tatalia. I haven't been to Tatalia yet. Going to Tatalia is not a bad idea. Let me take a look to see what's there. Um, there's only one quest for me there right now. Let's see. Welcome aboard. Let's head over to Tatalia really fast. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is Tatalia. And the game crashed. Well, that's not nice. Let's try relaunching. Well, it's a good thing I saved. Move the window back where I can read anything at all. Darn it. I said back. <sighs> so I tried saving and loading the window position and it didn't work for me. Anyway. I know I saved right before. And it's crashing again. That's not good at all. Well, I guess we're not going to tell you that way. So yeah, crashing, entering Tatalia via boat? I hope it's not just entering Tatalia at all. You have to go to each of the regions to complete the game. Actually, Tatalia might be the one exception. Um, you might, yeah, no, you do need to because you need to be able to go to Evermore Island and the only way you can get there is through Tatalia. So I guess we're going to Harmondale. Not exactly where I was planning on going, but we can. I don't particularly want to go to Dea right now. I don't want to go to Bricadia Desert right now. Uh, Harmondale sounds okay. So let's go. Traveling today. 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 Okay, back in Harmondale. Traveling today. Oh, that's what I'm learning for. So one of the things I messed up is that I actually need to do arena quests. I forgot. So on the might path that I'm going, you need to do arena quests for one of the promotion quests. It's the promotion from Cavalier to Champion. Yeah, Champion. Anyway, we're back in Harmondale. Um, that's right, Signet Ring's over here. Let's complete a quest. It's been a while since we've done that. There we go. Got 5,000 the monies. Aw, oh, yeah. And I'm friendly reputation now. Yay for actually having a positive reputation. I should have just saved my stuff and sold it here. Um, so, by the way, the only thing the reputation impacts in Might Magic six, 7 is prices of things. So, I the reputation is localized, so there's not much of a reason for you to worry too much about... Well, oh no, I accidentally hit this random guard in the zone. It doesn't really matter because you can just not deal with them. Right, ID item, I'm not doing repair. There we go. Repair is one of the things I forgot last time. Not that anything's broken yet, but that's okay. Uh, extra staff. Speaking of, I should look. Is it going to be worth me to. Yeah, I should probably. I don't want to throw any ranks in staff. Staff Staves are dumb. I'm probably just going to keep worth a damn club. Auto's oddities. Filters and elixirs. Oh, there's fruit on the tree. I probably just forgot to grab it before. Alright, let's head up here. So, our objective is to go to the Barrow Downs, by the way. Which you have to walk from here. Bow Grandmaster, Master Archer, which 
I can't do that yet. I think these are the places that I wanted to go. Because you're a spirit magic expert. Yep. Which I believe that's where all of our spells were. I can't wait to use I learned it. I don't have the skill. No, nope. cure paralysis is mind. Yeah. Cure paralysis is mind magic. And that's the one no, body magic's here. Mind magic is elsewhere. That's right. Okay, so. Uh, let me just mark on my quest list that we completed that quest. So we completed the Signet Ring quest. Um, mainline plot-wise, what we need to do is get our door replayer, uh, repaired. Mm, easier for me to say. Um, so yeah, we have to go to the Barrow Downs to be able to do any of that. We have a lot of quests that require us to go to the Barrow Downs, by the way. So that's why I'm walking there now. Uh, also, I think over here is something important. Well, important's relative. I think it's a skill challenge? No. Looking like no. How was the, Oh, it's up there. That's why. So I wanted to introduce these skill challenges. So this is a contest of might. You failed the contest. So the color of the fire indicates the difficulty. If I remember right, red is the lowest one and you need 50 might, I want to say. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. That's something I would need to look up. Um, I don't know why I'm walking down that way. I would rather walk up here. Do, 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 do. Anyway, these are dotted all over the place, and you get skill points for winning. I mentioned that much in a previous video, although it's been a while for me, and probably for you as well. And we still have Sir Charles Quixote here. Why do we dally? Even now the monster could be laying waste the countryside. Tally-ho! Tally-ho! That's one of the things one of the PCs say. Anyway, Barrow Downs is this way. I could have just cast Featherfall. That would have been smarter. Um, you were the Arrowheads and Tularian Wood. Uh, right, I meant to actually look up the trading triangles. Oh well, I'll do that some other time. Get some money. So we're going to walk this way. I want to go check all the dots up there. And the easiest way to do that is to go over here. I'm pretty certain I've already cleared out the entire zone other than that top corner. Mushrooms. Are these all mushrooms? I'm going to be a little annoyed if they are. Well, there's at least some fruit up here. But they do appear to be all mushrooms and what is we or poppy snaps. Okay, I was just wondering. So we're going to be walking south, not to Arathia. That's walking west to the Barrow Downs. Welcome to the Barrow Downs. The Barrow Downs is this game's equivalent of the Mire of the Damned. This is freaking Darkmoor. I hate this place. I hate this place so much because there is undead everywhere other than right here. On the plus side, there's no undead right here. And on the other plus side, there's loot all over the place in this place. So, these are dwarves. This is a dwarven home. Looks rather nice, actually. Too much fire for my tastes, but, well, I'm pyrophobic. That's not too surprising. Uh, it's not a place to linger. I may return to Stone City if it gets much worse here. So, the there is a place called Nyon. Let me load up the map again, and I'm going to remember to not have the map up. So, we went south. So, um, unlock. So, the Dwarven Barrows are right around the middle section where you see the devil thing at. I think that's where the Dwarven Barrows are been a long time and I really wish this particular map had labels on it. It doesn't. Uh, the PDF actually did. Anyway, um, so the Dwarven Barrows are a not so fun place and there's lots of underground movement. 
We'll actually be going through the barrows themselves on the next video because we're running out of time. I'm just going to do this little area and also play Archimage. Come in. Come in. Drink. Drink. Haha. <laughs> Stone soup. Good stuff. It's my favorite saying of any of the food places, even though I only needed one more food from that. I still want to do it. Um, you know what? We can grab perception now. No reason not to. So let's play Archimage. Um, start with the Tower of 20, Wall of 50. We're in the Dwarven area. It kind of makes sense to have more Dwarvenish things. We need Tower 100 or Resources 300. Okay. We also start with lots of beasts and not a whole bunch of anything else. So I'm going to preemptively kill all of your zoo uh, as you find more zoo. Of course. Um, unfortunately, it's the video that's going up tomorrow is the first Archimage video, so I don't know if I need to explain more yet or not. Um, you don't even have enough for me to care about that. Let's go ahead and beat. I should have played the strip mine before increasing my quarry. Yep, I am. So you can't drop below zero, so it's always worth using the negative um, negative resource cards when you're at a low number. I might be able to... Oh, minus one quarry? Okay, I'll strip mine out my own. I might be able to pull off just taking out their tower in this case. Let's cop the tech. This should be copying the tech, but it's copying the tech. And let's even get more tech. Okay. Oof. That was a little painful. Plus one tower is always nice. Two damage. Um, let's do more damage. I want to take out their tower this time. Nine beasts. Oh, or nine zoo. Well, that's not going to be easy. Oh, they're down to five. I just need to do a little bit of damage. Just two more damage and that's it. Just two damage. Just two damage. And they killed themselves. Okay. <laughs> they dealt their own two damage. That's fine with me. All right, so we won Archimage here. Uh, let me mark that off. So we've won in Harmondale, Barrow Downs, all the way. Barrow Downs, Arathia, Tularia, and Avli. So we have left Stone City. Stone City is actually inside of the Barrow Downs. It's basically a dungeon-like town. It's really hard to describe. And I hate that place so much, it's my least favorite town of the game. And on top of it, it's the place where you should be selling all of your stuff. Um, we've got Bricadia, Evermorn, or Evenmorn. I always misspeak when I say Evenmorn, or when I'm referring to the Evenmorn Islands. I always think of it as Evermorn for some reason. Um, Nyon, the Pit, and Celeste. Okay. Tatalia is the only one of those I could even reach right now. I already go on this side. And you, okay, and you buy glass bottles and sell sand, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here. Let's go ahead and save in our correct save slot. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm just going to stop recording and start recording immediately afterward. Well, after renaming and moving it. Bye internet.